Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're gonna be talking about how to recover the files on your 2011 MacBook Pro. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you a couple tricks to get them files back. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, what we're gonna do today is recover the files from your 2011 MacBook Pro. Pro. So it's come to my attention that not everybody is able to fix their computer with my 2011 MacBook GPU fix, which you can see that video right here. If you're having trouble and you can't fix the machine, either you're not able to or the machine is too far along gone because these are getting up closer to that 10 year mark and usually machines don't do well after that and there's other underlying issues that may be a problem. I'm sorry if I don't know the answer or your computer's just no longer working but if the hard drive is still in working order, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to take this bad boy apart, take the hard drive out of it, which is a really easy task. It's like six screws and then two screws to remove the hard drive. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. We're gonna take an external drive caddy. We're gonna connect it to another Mac and I'm gonna show you how to boot from this device to grab the files. So if you didn't do a time machine backup or you didn't back up to an external hard drive, this could be a great way to recover your files. Now there is other ways of doing this. I'm sure somebody's going to comment down below. This is just the way I do it. Like I said, I do what works. I'm going to grab the hard drive out of this and this is also a good way to keep the hard drive if you want to make backups of other stuff on that hard drive and you just have it for future reference or you can use it as another external drive. So let's get started. Over at my workbench, I'm going to show you how to take apart this laptop and grab the hard drive out of it. That's the first step. Okay, so here we are with the MacBook. Pro 2011 15 inch. We're going to flip it over. It's a regular small little screwdriver and we're going to take these screws out. And voila. That is the inside of a 2011 MacBook Pro. This is the hard drive right here, and we're gonna take that out. All right, we're gonna go for these two screws right here. All right, we're gonna pull on it. Now what we're gonna do is right here, we're gonna detach everything. It's all one piece. Boom, your hard drive is out. Now there's these two little prong screws. We're gonna take them out as well. All right, it looks like it's a T6 hexagon screwdriver. T6, guys, T6. All right, so now the hard drive's out. It's time for the next part. All right, so that's how you take the hard drive out of the computer. Now we're gonna take the hard drive and you're gonna open up the caddy and I'll leave a link down below for the caddy. You're gonna look at the actual prongs, how they're situated, and we're gonna try and li line them up to the prongs that are in this. So basically it just slips in. It only goes in one way. That's it. And then we'll put the top on it like so and now it's in there then with this kit came with a usb type c to usb a all right so we're going to use that we're going to grab that connection connect it right in there and now we're going to connect it to the computer we have the hard drive connected to the usb port it'll show up as an external hard drive we're going to go in there and this might be a little confusing to some people but all we're going to look for is user and we click on user right there and then you look for the name of your computer mine was named wg designs because it used to be my work computer so we'll click in WG Designs. This is all my folders that were in there, my downloads. You can even go to your desktop, see what was on your desktop at the time. I don't have anything on there because I hate putting stuff on the desktop. But I'm going to go to WG Design Files, and there you can see, and we can change that. These are all my files. And let's say sketches. You know, I have a bunch of sketches in there that I did digitally. We'll click and drag this over to this computer. And there you go, it actually clicked and dragged over to this computer and now I actually have those files on this computer. Real simple, real easy way to transfer files once you have it in an external hard drive. All right, so that was the first way that you can get the files. Now, if it's enc encrypted or don't want to do it that way, you just want to boot it up in the machine and maybe work off the hard drive, this is another way. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go over to the computer, boot up like your old machine. All right, so the first thing, and, and I know this isn't the best way of showing it, but this is I'm trying to do it fast. We're going to shut down the machine. I'm going to go to restart. External hard drive still plugged in. Go to restart. When you hear that chime, hit on the option button. 
hold down on it. All right, so make sure that you have it directly in the USB drive. Don't put it in one of these because it will not work. But you could see now I have the original hard drive and then I have the external hard drive. If I click on the external hard drive, and this is a pretty cool trick, we are now emulating basically my laptop hard drive. So this is what my laptop actually looked like. So you could see that you're running it actually as the computer off the hard drive. So you, you can go into all your old files and I'll show you. Let's go to Finder. And there's WG Designs, WG Designs, and boom, there's all the files from before. You can actually work off of this hard drive like you were working on your laptop. So it could be a very big help if that's what you want to do. You could use your older Mac hard drive to run on your new Mac so that way you can continue a project that you were doing or you can actually click and drag files to an external drive like I have here with the YouTube backup. I can click and drag files over to that and then go on to my original hard drive and be able to work on it like that. So yeah, you just hold down on the option. I just thought it was a really cool trick to be able to basically, if the laptop's not worth anything, you can try and sell it for parts, hold on to the hard drive, and you could boot up into your old laptop anytime you want on a original Mac. So it's, it's just a really cool little option you have, and you hold down on the option key, and then you pick which hard drive you want to work off of. Maybe you're not worried about the files, but later on you're worried about you might need something on that computer, you could just hook it up and actually have the computer that way or you can go into the files. I just want to show you two different ways that you could actually access the files from your old hard drive. So I thought that would be very useful. It was for me, you know, not only could you use this for your 2011, but if you want to make another hard drive backup of your machine, you could do that as well. Hold down on the control and be able to get into it, especially with iMacs like this. If something goes wrong, you might have to actually run it off of a USB hard drive if you don't want to try and crack it open and put a new hard drive in. So it's just another option you know I'm just giving you guys some ideas to work off of if you have a different way that you know how to recover the data from this laptop with a screen that's not working put it down in the comments below I'll check them out I mean I know there's a way to link them through USB and there's other ways I just you know doing it the practical way and just grabbing the hard drive out of it I'm always taking apart machines and ripping stuff out do this at your own risk that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell if this helped you in any way and remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys! All right, you should see a screen like this. And why isn't my hard drive showing up? I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. And then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.